inside the Saber 37FLH front living room floor plan. Up on the upper level, as you can see, it's a beautiful area, lots of space for all your friends to hang out. Uh, in front of a 55 inch LED color television, we have a, a remote controlled fireplace that has two temperature settings and three color options for ambiance. We'll heat up this general area about seven degrees in 30 minutes. So on a cold day, shut your gas off and use the electric fireplace. As you can see too, we have lots of ambient lighting on the top over here. We also have ambient lighting that runs the entire length of the coach inside the kitchen and the living room for that extra lighting. Lots of storage on either side of the cabinet for your DVDs, for your music, and lots of lower storage as well. You're also going to notice that there's plenty of outlets and USB ports in today's day and age. If you don't have the USB ports, you're going to be in trouble. As you can see, we have, these are double USB ports and they're high output. So just in this area right here, we have four, the ability to charge four devices. Also, you're going to see is this beautiful Thomas Paine furniture with opposing trifold sofas. Obviously, it's a lot of room. It's going to be able to sleep many people up here. If you have guests over or grandchildren, it's a perfect spot for them. We also have right here, facing the television straight on, our Cinemax theater seats. Each individual seat will heat and vibrate at your option. And also, we'll have ground effect LED lighting. And each one will recline almost horizontally out, whereas a lot of them won't go that far back. These will actually recline almost horizontally. You also have uh, availability of outlet here and dual output uh, USB ports. Another great feature of all Saber fifth wheels is the LCI One Control touchpad. What it allows you to do is operate lights and awning and the slides from one pad, eliminating all those switches that are out. Also allows you with Bluetooth capability to download that to your cell phone or to your pad and you can operate it as well from away from inside the coach. Another feature of all Saber fifth wheels is our colossal 14.7 resonance refrigerator. Both doors can easily swing open and each door has four shelves for your storage. It also is a little deeper than most. And another interesting feature is that we have two freezer drawers. One in the middle and a large one at the bottom for your ice bags and those larger freezable items. Typically in the front living room floor plans, you do sacrifice a little bit of storage because of the layout. But at Sabre, we're able to manage to put in more storage than the typical front living room. Here you can see we actually have a small pantry to the right of the refrigerator where most do not put anything. We also have an upper one here for some storage and also some lower storage along with some drawers. Around the stove, we have three drawers with two deeper ones at the, towards the bottom. And we also have a deep pan drawer underneath the stove. And continue with the storage with our Sabre front living room. We have a full pantry next to the stove. Our pantries come with a foot activated motion light, which will turn off after you close the door for a few minutes. Also, I have an island that has three drawers and a dual doors underneath with tons of storage underneath. So as you can see, the Saber front living room, we didn't sacrifice on storage. Another great feature of our is our ability to put two transom windows at the top of the coach, which will allow that light coming in from all directions, actually making this coach very, very bright even without the lights on. It's a great feature. Whenever you do a front living room, you always try to do what's called the big four, which is a half bath, a pantry, an outdoor kitchen, and dual sinks in the master bath. Hardly anybody has in this price point, all four, but we're able to pull it off. As you can see, we have a very sizable half bath just off the kitchen with tons of storage. Medicine cabinet above and storage down below with plenty of seating room with a porcelain based toilet. We've talked about the pantry on this side. We've talked about a half pantry on that side. And even over here in the corner, we're able to make use. This would also be used for pantry items or decoration. And down below, your private items. Again, you don't see that in every coach. Also here, shelving for your devices for charging. A dual output USB, dual output USB with outlets. Standard in every Saber fifth wheel are our shades and we call them our zebra shades. What they are is a revolving pull-down shade that has a clear window 
and a black window. And as you pull these down, you have the ability for to allow sunlight in, but you can't see inside the coach. But if you want total dark in, you actually line up the black stripes and it's totally black out. So at nighttime, you have privacy, and during the daytime, you have your privacy. So if we want to raise it up for full light, you just raise it up and it stays in put. So here we are in the master bedroom. As you can see, there's tons of space in here. We have a full ceiling height. This gives it a little more depth. Doesn't make it feel overly crowded. We have windows on either side of the bed. Plenty of storage above. Also have tons of cabinet space here for storage. So you have his and her closets. You have wardrobe hanging on top. Deep drawers on the right. You also have storage underneath the bed. As you raise it up, all beds are on struts and you have tons of space there for storage as well. One of the unique features of all Saber fifth wheels is the incorporation of slider barn doors. What it looks like is a new old look in all of our coaches, kind of a cottagey, very comfortable feel. Straps in place as you're traveling, when it operates, slides across, just like you see on TV. Here we are inside the bathroom of the 37 front living. Just inside the door, you have removable shelves for a stackable washer dryer, should you choose to have a washer dryer in your unit. If you don't, what you have is an enormous storage spot for your clothes, for your supplies, for your blankets and pillows. You can also put a wardrobe bar across the top and use that for additional storage that you didn't get in your bedroom. As you can see on the shower, it's sliding glass doors, easy to clean. We also have a seat for sitting as needed. I am six foot two, and as you can see, you have plenty of headroom in here. No problem hitting the light, no problem taking your shower.